Hello everyone, my name is Leonardo Bianchi and I'm a PhD student at the Department of Mechanical Engineering of Politecnico di Milano. My PhD research project is developed within the framework of an European project named Laser Optima, which aims to optimize laser-assisted therapies for an effective tumor treatment, relying on a synergy among laser radiation, nanotechnology, and thermometry. In particular, my work focuses on the nanoparticle mediated photothermal therapy and also the related thermometric strategy for the optimal implementation of the procedure. Today, I would like to present a work concerning fiber burger in sensor for thermometry during gold nanos mediated photothermal therapy in tumor model. The study has been carried out in collaboration with the Beckman Research Institute of City of Hope and the Università Campus Biomedico di Roma. First of all, I would like to introduce fiber burger in sensing. Fiber gradient sensors have arisen as outstanding measurement technologies, finding broad application in different areas. In particular, FBGs fit by medical application due to their biological and chemical inertness, lightweight and compact form factor, by compatibility, instantaneous response, and compatibility with high intensity electromagnetic fields procedures. FBGs have been largely investigated as thermometers for monitoring the temperature changes induced by minimal invasive thermal therapies for tumor treatment. The goal of these treatment modalities is the destruction of cancer cells based on the tumor temperature change while preserving the surrounding healthy tissue from undesired damage. In this regard, photothermal therapy utilizes highly laser absorbing nanoparticles injectable into tumors to localize the temperature increase in the tardar tumor region due to the conversion of their soap light into heat, hence enhancing the treatment selectivity with the aim of sparing healthy structure from undesired damage. Several tools have been proposed for real-time monitoring of the thermal therapies. The current clinical standard entails the use of thermal imaging approaches. However, they require line of sight between the camera and the treated region. Also, Traditional thermocouples suffer from self-heating and single point measurements, thus presenting several limitations for an optimal temperature monitoring. In this concern, we evaluated the feasibility of FPG arrays for the monitoring of the internal tumor temperature change caused by the light absorbing nanoparticles. Specifically, we use gold nanorods, aimed at improving the therapy selectivity. Concerning fiber bar gradient sensing, FBG sensor consists of photoinscribed periodical modification of the refractive index within the fiber core. FBGs act as specific wavelength refractors since their capability to reflect a narrow band part of the spectrum centered at the so called Bragg wavelength, lambda b. This wavelength is proportional to the effective refractive index and the grating period, which is defined as the distance between two regions characterized by high values of refractive index. Temperature perturbations cause a change of the period of index modulation due to the material thermal expansion and variation of the effective refractive index, resulting in alteration of the Bragg wavelength. Therefore, the monitoring of the subsequent Bragg shift allows an indirect measurement of the temperature changes. In the present study, custom-made arrays of five FBGs were adopted. The same femtosecond point by point writing technology was exploited to inscribe FBG arrays in the core of a single mode optical fiber. The ray total sensing length was designed in order to fit the typical diameter of a subcutaneous tumor in mice. And the resulting grating length and edge to edge distance between gratings were chosen consequently. The temporal resolution was 0.1 seconds. The root mean square error evaluated on the optical signal acquired at the room temperature was less than 0.2 Celsius degrees. The reflection spectrum measured by the optical sense interrogator unit is depicted in the figure. As you can see, five peak break reflection equidistant in the wavelength range reported can be observed. Concerning the laser radiation procedure, subcutaneous breast tumors were engrafted in a mice flank and injected either with gold nanoros or saline solution, which was used as control. 
The gold nanorod dimension was chosen in order to display the surface plasma resonant peak in accordance with the wavelength used for laser irradiation. A diode laser with characteristic wavelength of 1064 nanometer was used to irradiate the subcutaneous tumors for three minute exposure times. Laser operated in a continuous wave mode at a power of 2.6 baht. Laser radiation was delivered in a contactless approach through a quartz optical fiber located above subcutaneous tumors, as you can see in the figure above. FBG arrays were inserted into tumors through a needle, which was removed before the thermal treatment. The central FBG sensor was located at the center of the tumor and displays in the below figure. The temperature profiles across the sensing part of the fiber were reconstructed for the acquired spectra. Concerning the temperature evolution, the temperature profile over time measured by FDG arrays during treatments are displayed in the figure. The maximum temperature change among tumors treated with gold nanorods is equal to 64 Celsius degrees. While the maximum temperature increase register among irradiating saline injecting tumors is 47 Celsius degrees. To characterize the thermal effect of the enhanced length to heat conversion in tumor exerted by laser absorbing gold nanorods, the mean internal temperature values registered by FVGs and the associated measurement uncertainties were obtained. And the end of the procedure, so at an exposure time of three minutes, the temperature difference between gold nanorods and control groups refers to 13 Celsius degrees. The heat inefficiency expressed as the ratio between the maximum temperature increase of the tumor group and the gold nanorods mediated for thermal therapy and the maximum temperature change experienced by the controls is equal to 1.33. This result is consistent with the value obtained in previous investigation performed with different temperature monitoring techniques during photothermal therapy. The thermal results also show different heating kinetics for gold nanorods injected and controlled tumor groups, since they achieved around 90% of the maximum temperature in 100 seconds and 125 seconds respectively. Regarding the thermal distribution, the figure shows the temperature evolution distributed along the five FBG arrays during laser irradiation performed on gold nanorods and PBX injecting tumors. In case of gold nanorods assistance, temperature changes of around 50 Celsius degrees are observable in tumors after two minute exposure time. Whereas when saline solution was injected, temperature increases remain lower than 50 Celsius degrees, even at the end of the treatment. In conclusion, we investigated the feasibility of FBG arrays as minimally invasive multiplied temperature measurement sensor during in vivo gold nanorods mediated photothermal therapy in breast cancer models. Arrays of five FPGs were inscribed in a single mode optical fiber exploiting the femtosecond point by point writing technology. And the reduced dimensions of the FPGs used in the study resulted in high, specially resolved thermal analysis as on, along a single fiber in tumors with average diameter of seven millimeters. This permits to reduce the thermal monitoring invasiveness since a unique fiber was inserted into breast cancer tumors for quasi-distributed temperature measurements during laser treatments. This encourages the use of this sensor as minimal invasive multiplying temperature probes in nanoplasts with small sizes or complex geometries. The proposed novel uses of FBG's array for the analysis of increased tumor temperature during the nanorods mediated photothermal therapy could, well, could be well suited for the evaluation of the selectivity enhancement arisen from the localization of the nanoparticle in the tumor target region. This project has received funding from the European Research Council under the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Program. 
Thank you very much for your kind attention. If you have any question about the present war or you are interested in the presented topics, please feel free to visit our website or write me a busy mail. Thank you. I hope you have a great day ahead.